Hey, what's up guys? It's Farmer Jack and I'm here today to talk to you about turmeric. So turmeric is great. It does so well here in the subtropics here in South Florida. Um, I know a lot of friends in Hawaii who grow this. Um, super easy crop. Um, I love turmeric. The one thing is it takes a really long time to develop. So you really have to be patient and uh, just get it in the ground. And it really takes a good 12 to 18 months before you get a really great yield. Um, you can pull it up after, you know, eight or nine months, but um, you really get that big yield, you know, at 18 months. Um, so it takes some time, unlike radishes that take 30 days, you know, or carrots that take 80 days. Um, you know, turmeric takes a good, a good amount of time. So that being said, turmeric is super worth it. Um, it grows so well here in the tropics. So this is what it does. You put it in the ground, you know, you take one of these seeds from, this is basically the rhizome, one of the roots that came from the root clump. And I just call it a seed, you know, you take one of these little like fingers from the clump. And then in the spring, you go in and you plant it about two inches under the soil and uh, you water it in. And really when it starts to heat up in the summertime down here in South Florida, um, this comes to life, this will sprout, come up out of the soil through the mulch and it'll grow all through the summer season. Turmeric absolutely loves Florida, not only because of the heat, but because of the sandy soil. Sandy soil is kind of like aerated. It's not like clay where it's all compact. So root crops that want to take up space in the soil, sand is perfect for that. Like carrots in Florida do so well. That's why carrots do well. Turmeric really responds to that nice soil, like sandy aerated soil well. So definitely just make sure you, you, you fluffing up your soil before you pop these in because for 18 months you really want to make sure they have enough space to, you know, keep growing. So it'll do its thing all summer long and then um, it'll go dormant in the winter. So in the winter time it kind of, you know, starts to die back and all that energy, it looks like it's dying, but it's really just about to be a different season and all that energy just goes right to its roots and actually the root gets a little bit bigger. Um, it'll go dormant and then right when it heats up again in spring, it'll send up a bunch of shoots and then get even bigger that next season. So you could harvest that first winter and kind of take them out or you could let them go another season. And that's what we did here with this black turmeric. So check it out. This is all a special variety I got from my buddy Joseph. And I'm almost just honored to have it because it's like super medicine. This is not like your typical turmeric. You'll get like a little shot of it at a juice bar. This is black turmeric and it's actually blue on the inside. I could show you. Yeah. Nuts. So like really like I just chew on this. This is like super medicine, you know, it's got like, it's got like a hundred, like I don't even know how much, but like way like exponentially more of the good, you know, anti-inflammatory uh, properties that turmeric has in this black turmeric. So, and you'll even taste it. Like I chew on these in the morning during the season is how I take in my turmeric. Just, you know, like live enzymes, you know, chewing on it. It's just like juicing it, right? And when I chew on these in the morning, it's like super bitter. Like you could tell it's just straight medicine. So they actually use these to make tinctures and just like different, you know, it's really just for like, um, you know, the medicine of the turmeric, which is a, which is what it is, you know, food and medicine are kind of one in the same and turmeric really embodies that. Um, so that being said, we grow all sorts of turmeric, but I, this, this makes me really excited, this black turmeric, because we waited two seasons, you know, two years ago, I planted this turmeric and, um, we just pulled them out, um, the other day and we just got an amazing yield. So I'm going to multiply this out again in the spring, you know, when it goes, when it starts to get hot. I'll put a bunch of these seeds in the ground and then, you know, it'll compound and multiply and we can share this with even more people, you know, just like how Joseph shared it with me. Um, but yeah, I love turmeric. Like really, if you have space and you're in South Florida, really, you got to put turmeric in the ground because it will meet you halfway. You know, you don't have to do much and, you know, drought resistant. Big fan of turmeric. Um, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video and hope you learned something and I uh, will see you next time.